This is one of my favorite times of the year to fish. Everybody's in the woods hunting. So one of the things that I really have grown to love this time of year is the laker fishing on Lake Erie. It is unbelievable. Me and a couple of buddies have been out here figuring out more and more as we as we go for the last three seasons and definitely caught over a thousand lakers in that amount of time. And what's cool about it is they're just a big giant fish. The size averages between 12 and 14 pounds. You'll catch the occasional six to eight pounder and the occasional 25 pounder. And the state record's just over 30 and they're, they're here. I mean, definitely a lot of giant fish all up and down the shoreline. We've caught them about a 30 to 40 mile span on Lake Erie. It's just an awesome way to fish. We're in a little bit of a different area today, just looking around. As a general rule, I'm kind of staying within a mile or two of those creek mouths. Someday you catch them all in 20 feet, someday you catch them all in 30 feet. You're just looking for humps, points, little rock piles. The littlest thing can hold the biggest school, so it's as simple as that. You can catch them a bunch of different ways. You know, we have figured out that they're line shy a little bit. So we do go down to like that six and eight pound test on spinning rods. A lot of times the water's a little bit cloudier and you're using a reaction bait and you can get away with using up to 17, 14 pound test. It just depends on how you're fishing. The lighter line, the little jigs and stuff, the slower you have to fish, the clearer the water, the lighter the line you have to use. Most of the time I'd say we're using eight pound test on the spinning rods and just a good normal 12 to 14 on the bait casters. Look at that. What a tank. What these big lake trout are doing is just coming up to spawn. They spend their entire summer way out there in the middle. Never fished for them out there. I know some of the charter guys catch them out there in super deep water, but I just don't like to troll as much. So we came out here and just started trying to figure out different baits and ways to catch them. And, and lo and behold, we found out that they're like a bass. I mean, they're just like every other fish on Lake Erie. They want to eat minnows. They're looking for something shiny down there. And basically, we just started bass fishing for them. So one of my best bass baits, especially when the water gets cold in the spring and in the fall is this steel shed. You just can't beat it. There's a lot of different blade baits out there. This one I like because it doesn't get hung up as much. You know, it doesn't foul. The hooks don't get tangled as much and it's got a real consistent vibration. So this steel shed here is called the Heavy Series and this is definitely my favorite one. If you're going to experiment with a steel shed, that's a good place to start. It's a really good bait. It's heavier, gets down there quicker and it's got that small profile. I haven't really noticed that color makes that much difference. You're just wanting to get that flash. So what we're doing, all these fish we're catching are basically right straight under the boat. That's, oh my gosh. Uh, oh my gosh. Look at that. Yeah. How big is that? So we're just dropping that bait straight down, straight up and down. That's the key. We're marking them on the depth finder, just like we do when we're bass fishing in the summer. We've had days where there's four or five people in the boat and we're catching them four and five at a time. As far as the action, these fish are just like any other fish. Sometimes they're active, sometimes they're not. Sometimes they bite, you see them and they bite instantly. And sometimes you gotta play with them. But for the most part, we're just give, getting it on the bottom, jigging it up maybe two or three feet. You'll feel that vibration in that steel shed as you lift it, so it's like, and then letting it fall. All you're trying to do is just create that flash and vibration. And I can tell you, if it's windy, cloudy, a little bit rough, or the water's murky like this, you just can't beat the flash of this steel shed. You cannot beat it. And I would say the clearer that it gets, the more we start going to spinning rods or just lighter line and going with that hot glow. So that bait right there is magical. And with the hot glow jig, these fish seem to like these really bright colors. So a white or anything in chartreuse, anything that's bright, metal flake is good. Like you can see the tinsel in this particular jig, but the lake trout seem to just be addicted to it. This is a 3 8 It's caught quite a few fish. The key is putting some kind of a plastic trailer on it. As far as the soft plastic, Basically, you're trying to imitate a bait fish. When the fish are a little finicky, like say on a flat, sunny day, this is a really good bait. It's the same bait that I use for smallmouth. It's called a shad-shaped worm. It's got a real good emerald shiner profile to it. Sometimes they really want that swim bait type of paddle tail action. They want that vibration. And that's when I go with these. This is the Storm 360 GT swim bait. Very popular for bass, all kinds of fish. I always have these in a variety of different colors in the boat. It's a real durable bait. So when you're catching a bunch of Lakers, it's just a good one where you're not changing all the time. The more finicky the fish get, I feel like the more realistic your swim bait has to be. I'm using a lot of Yamamoto stuff. This is called a D-Shad. It's just a little bit bigger soft stick bait. 
you know, when you're catching so many and you just want to catch bigger ones, uh, obviously you just go to a bigger bait and a lot of times you will catch the bigger ones. This is a Zayco, looks like a bait fish. You know, figuring out whether they want the paddle tail or the less action bait is kind of something you got to do out here every single day. Both really, really good for the Lakers. Between these two baits, you can't go wrong. I mean, if you get around these fish, you're going to catch them on one or the other. These fish are huge, you know, they're like the size of muskies. At first I thought, you know, I want to use the big musky rod but we have definitely settled on keeping our rod sizes down. So the rod I like is basically what I use for jerk baiting. It's a 6.8 medium. It's an NV series from 13 Fishing. It's more manageable. It's easier to, to jig. It doesn't, you're not going to get tired fishing it. And with the treble hooks, you know, you want something, a limber rod, something that has forgiveness and really bends when you hook one of these fish. The reel, the fish are super fast. This is an eight to one gear ratio. I like something that's really, really fast when I'm fishing for Lakers. You're able to pick up line quick because they swim really fast. You get one at the boat and it'll take off and sometimes they swim right towards you. And also you want something that has a good drag, but at the same time can give you the leverage that you need. And I really like catching them on the bait casters. It's really personal preference. Uh, this is a concept boss reel and it's just the perfect setup for this. Can't go wrong. On the line, I'm using 10 to 12 pound suffix advanced fluorocarbon. Really good abrasion resistance. You know, we're fishing around rocks and stuff like that. So I want something that's pretty durable. And then for the spinning rods, this is the rod that I use for this. Anything in the seven foot range, this happens to be a 7.3 medium. Basically the same action. You know, I want it to bend a lot. The reel is a 13 fishing prototype X, my absolute favorite spinning reel. It's got cork drag system, which is really good. Even in the cold weather, it's not going to freeze up on you. I mean, it's 29 degrees out here today. You just want something that has a real nice consistent drag and you just can't beat these setups. On the spinning reel for the main line, I'm using 10 pound test braid. I have a full spool of the braid and then I'm running anywhere from a 12 to 15 foot fluorocarbon leader. But I'll tell you what, if you love to fish this time of the year, this is something you gotta try if you've never done it. Once you find them, you're gonna catch 20 to 100. I mean, that's literally how fast and furious it can get. We've caught well over 100 in a day. So when you come up here to Erie, uh, there's one particular tackle shop that I would highly recommend. Kirk, we call him the minnow man at East End Angler. He keeps up with what's going on, keeps up with the Lakers, keeps up with all the steelhead and the different types of fishing that goes on. They're really good about trying to help people catch fish. <laughs> yeah, look at that tank. That'd be my first move, would be to call him before you make the trip up here. But uh, as you can see, Laker fishing at its finest right here in Erie, Pennsylvania.